Maloney land, Maloney land that has been stewarded for thousands of years in order for us to have this moment here, and hence we will respect this moment and treat it with the importance that it has so that we can be part of the steward, common stewardship of this space and move the space forward. Um, my name is Ken Montero. I am one of the co-chairs of the Summit and Celebration for the 50th anniversary of the College of Ethnic Studies, but it's also the 50th anniversary of Ethnic Studies. And that's where uh, kind of set up a little bit of context for today's piece. Um, over the past year and a half, actually, but we've called it a year, but it was actually a year and a half, we've had a variety of programs, performances, yes, speeches, organizing meetings, uh, new, uh, new programmatic uh, initiatives have been created during this period of time to celebrate that 50th year. Uh, the two weeks that were to be the pillars last November was primarily anchored, created, organized by, and educated uh, by the, uh, the San Francisco State veteran strikers who were also the founders of the college. Those, yes, 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 yes. those are the members of the Black Student Union, Third World Liberation Front, and their allies from the community, uh, the faculty, the staff, those individuals were uh, the core of the November one. Why? To give us a fuller foundation for moving forward. You don't have a good foundation, you don't have much to build on. So that was an exciting weekend in November. It has been um, videotaped in later after the, all of these are done. They'll be uploaded into a system. If you've ever put in Ethnic Studies and DIVA, interesting combination. Ethnic Studies and DIVA, in probably about a month or so, we can get it all uploaded. You'll, you'll be able to find everything we've done this year and also the videotapes of previous uh, such conferences. When you fast forward to this week, for this week again, uh, the founders set a very exciting, exciting and interesting and provocative uh, set, set of sessions on Monday to walk us through what was the context before the strike. I always joke that we sometimes have people teach history like uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a race scene. You just see the car scene. You don't find out why anybody was chasing anybody or whatever. And we sometimes can teach the, the strike of 68, the historic strike of 68 that way. They set the context for the pre-strike, the strike itself, the strike demands, and then how that moved forward into the creation of a range of programs and particularly for this uh, particular week, the College of Ethnic Studies in San Francisco State, there was also some discussion about the connections that were made across movements that were happening then. Uh, two, Tuesday and Wednesday, for those of you who were here just that you know what people were doing, some of these strikers and founders were then just going into classes, doing the outreach to classes, which was very generous with their time. And Thursday was anchored by the current faculty and students. Two, do a bit of the 50 year history, but also anchor in what are the current issues, demands, needs, and aspirations of the faculty and students now, and how do they relate to the foundation that they're on and the common aspirations of those who are on campus now and those uh, partners and uh, community partners that we're working with. So, how do we get to today? Today is the beginning of the sessions where. Mem uh, colleagues from uh, around this uh, California State University system will bring the stories together. Some of them will be more historical, some of them will be more just epistemological, in other words, what were the, uh, what were the thinking and ideas that, that were driving the questions and, and, and philosophies that were driving. Some of them will be methodological, what kind of struggle happened. It's to give you a sampling of the range of things that were happening around the CSU, the California State University system. This is important. It's clear that the College of Ethnic Studies is the first and by, and still the only until maybe next year. Um, but not all of its programs were the first. It's the first. It was the first Black Studies, but it, was not all, it, it wasn't the first of all of its programs. And like the movements, the academic departments across the CSU and across the nation were related. And you need to know a little bit about that relationship as well. Um, the three general topics for today, one, you'll do foundations, you always start with that history and, and foundations. Also, you want to know what's, what's the growing edges, what's bubbling up, 
We won't be able to have everything done, but you'll get a sense of his vibrancy of life. This is a living, living creation. And we'll also look at strategic partnerships. Strategic partnerships because ethnic studies is grounded in the community as the university. So it's not just some transactional relationship. These relationships produced ideas and produced impact, and we want you to hear what those are. So those will be for today, and tomorrow we will be focusing primarily in the morning on how do we advance the, uh, the recommendations of the task force on, uh, uh, on advancing uh, uh, ethnic studies, and really focusing on, uh, as a very practical as well as intellectual matter, how do we require ethnic studies K through 12 and in the CSU, and how do we do it with both intellectual and activist integrity. So I hope that sort of, for those who weren't here, brings you up. For those who are thinking of coming tomorrow, brings you forward. And uh, without uh, further ado, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the moderator of the, uh, the first panel. And I have the joy to do that. You need to, you need to know that even though I'm, uh, I'm here as a uh, co-chair, I'm also here as a student. The wonderful thing about being at a university is you can be a professor and a student at the same time. So the various colleagues that will be coming up uh, after the moderator are all people who I value and I, and I actually love being in their class. So when I step down, I'm going to be with you in the class. But the moderator for this panel is uh, Professor Molana Karanga. He's both professor and chair of Africana Studies at Cal State University of Long Beach. He's a member of the steering committee uh, for the, CS, uh, the CSU Council on Ethnic Studies. Professor Karanga is, the, uh, is an activist, scholar of national and international recognition. Dr. Karanga has played a major role in black intellectual and political culture since the 1960s, especially in black studies and social movements, including the Black Power Movement, Black Arts Movement, and the Million Man March, for which he wrote the mission statement. He's the executive director of the African American Cultural Center, US, and the National Association of Kwaida, uh, Kwa Kwa I was one uh, syllable short on that, Kwaida organizations. Also, he's the uh, creator of the Pan-African Cultural Holiday, Kwanzaa, and the Nguza Sawa, the author of Introduction to Black Studies, Kwanzaa, a celebration of family, community, and culture, Odu Ipa, the uh, ethical teachings, Ma'at, the moral idea and ideal in ancient Egypt, a study in classical African ethics, Kawaida and the questions of life and struggle, essays on struggle, liberation, uh, ethics of Mount Malcolm X, critical consciousness, more grounded and transformational struggle in the forthcoming world. So I'd like to uh, introduce my uh, colleague and friend, uh, Melania Karanga. <laughs> 